Meanwhile, pressure is growing on Europe to secure alternate gas supplies as the Russian gas flows to Europe continue to flow for a second straight day. The Russian gas flows to Europe, which usually meet nearly about 40% of the European continent's needs, reportedly have been observed to be constant since the beginning of the war in Ukraine. But fears that Russia will stop its gas supplies are now becoming very real after Moscow slapped sanctions on the Western energy firms and also slowed down gas flows to Europe. Russia on Thursday had said that it will stop sending natural gas via the Polish section of the Yamal Europe pipeline in retaliation against Western sanctions on Russia for its invasion into Ukraine. This move has come a day after Russia issued a government decree imposing sanctions on 31 EU, US and Singaporean energy firms. This has prompted the German finance minister Robert Habeck to accuse Russia of using energy as a weapon. He also has admitted that German subsidiaries of Gazprom were not getting any gas from Russia and has said that it had not been able to make up for the shortfall through gas imports from Norway and the Netherlands. Russia's sanctions have come just a day after Ukraine suspended flows through a key eastern transit pipeline because the area was no longer under Ukrainian control. Now this, remember, is the first time that exports via Ukraine have been disrupted since Moscow launched its invasion in late February. The transit point in Ukraine, which got shut down, usually handles almost about 8% of Russian gas flows into Europe. Kiev has proposed that flows could be redirected to an alternative transit point known as the Sudza. Gazprom, however, has said that it is impossible to reroute all of the supplies through another Ukrainian pipeline. On Thursday morning, flows through Sudza had fallen to nearly about 53 million cubic meters per day, from approximately 70 million cubic meters per day from the day before. While the European Union has pledged to wean itself off Russian energy, Germany has been very cautious in the statements that it has made. But with fears growing that Russia could in fact cut off its energy taps any moment, and it could do so to leverage its negotiations with Europe, Germany has said that it is focusing on building up its own gas reserves so that it is fully equipped to survive the next winter. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.